In this video, I'm giving you the best value running shoe of 2022. What is up everybody and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now this is our part of our sorry best of series. Uh, we're looking at some of the best shoes of 2022, trying to narrow some of those options down for you because there's a lot of shoes out there. Now we are using a very scientific um, system to rate the shoes. It's not very scientific. Um, and I'm rating the shoes out of 50 points in total. So our scoring system is, does it make you feel awesome? Midsole, outsole, um, upper, and value. They're the sort of five things that I wanna hone in on uh, for each shoe to kind of narrow it down. And like I said, this video is about the best value running shoes out there. And I've got like, uh, well, yeah, a top three. Okay, so the two shoes that um, came sort of joint second or third or whatever, were the uh, Reebok Float Ride Energy 4, um, and the Skechers Go Run Razor 2, uh, Go Run Razor XS2, sorry. Uh, both of those shoes are relatively um, inexpensive. The Reebok, for example, you can get for £44. The Skechers Razor XS2 uh, is well under £100, and they both do an incredible job. Uh, the Razor XS is an up tempo daily trainer. You've got the Hyperburst midsole on there, great outsole, fantastic upper, very lightweight, and, it, and it's just a great shoe to get some speed work in there, but you can also use it as a daily trainer. Then you've got the Reebok uh, Energy Float Ride 4, which is a fantastic daily trainer, limited a little bit in mileage uh, in terms of what you can do with it, but it's just a great daily trainer, and, and at the price, it's, it's incredible. Um, so they're two shoes that were close to making it to the top spot. But the shoe that made it to the top spot is another Reebok, and that is the Energy Float Ride X. Now this shoe you can get at the moment over here in the UK for about 70 pounds, which is incredible. Now if you don't know about this shoe, it's got a carbon plate in the front section of the shoe. You've got the Energy midsole, you've got a mesh upper, uh, you've got a reasonable rubber outsole. I think it's carbon, yeah, carbon fiber, um, carbon fiber. That teach me not to read my notes before, but we've got, it's just carbon fiber plate on it, but I thought it said carbon rubber. That's why I got confused, because on the Energy Float Ride, we've got carbon rubber outsole. But again, should have checked my notes. But bottom line, it's got a decent outsole. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of worn a bit there with my pronation, a little bit there on the outsole, but uh, on the outside, but in general, it's held up pretty well. And don't forget, I'm running these down the river. Got a little bit of foam uh, on the inside of the shoe as well to create some comfort. Lockdown's great with these laces. The only problem with this shoe is it doesn't come in half sizes. Uh, lastly, weight, 274 grams, 9.65 ounces. So again, perfect uh, in terms of weight for that sort of daily trainer, fast tempo running shoe. Now what makes this shoe awesome is it just does everything really easy. Um, we did a video, I think, was it 17, 18 miles? Or it might have even been a 20 mile run in this shoe, so it can do your long runs, but it can do your speed sessions as well. So it offers that versatility, which the other shoes that I mentioned at the start of the video don't offer. It's just a great, great, fun, awesome shoe. Now it scores, we're gonna go through the scores next, but you'll be surprised at what it came out with. So does it make you feel awesome? Yes, it does. I've given the shoe an eight out of 10. Uh, it really does make you feel awesome. It's got great pop from that energy float ride, um, energy midsole, combined with the plate at the front. It just does make you feel awesome. Next up, the outsole, giving it a seven. Not the best score, uh, but because uh, it's held on okay, there is some wear on there, even though it's got sort of, I would say a huge amount of miles in there as a guess. 100 miles on here, but I don't really keep track of my mileage. But the outsole's okay, but it could be better. Then we've got the midsole and the upper both came in at eight points each. Uh, the midsole's fantastic, I say, great fun with the plate. The upper's really breathable um, and just, yeah, just wraps around the foot really nicely. It's just a great upper. It's, it's, it's one of those that just do exactly what you want, which is why I gave it an eight. And in value, as you'd expect, I gave it a 10. Now, if my, if, um, my maths are right, uh, I think that's 42 
from the top of my head. So there we go people, this is the best value shoe, I think running shoe you can buy in 2020. It does everything that you want from a running shoe, I think, for an incredible price.